This is a message to all the parents and carers of children who attend one of the schools in the Goldsworth Trust. In case you're not aware, the Goldsworth Trust consists of St John's Primary School, Knapp Hill Lower School, Knapp Hill School and Goldsworth Primary School. And my name is Jill Kozlowski and I'm the CEO of the Goldsworth Trust. And I wanted to give a message to all of our parents and carers as this half term draws to a close. And I wanted to just express my thanks to you for all the support you've given our schools in the past months. We are acutely aware that home learning is a difficult and challenging task for children, for parents and for school staff. But by working together and providing mutual support, we are able to make it the best it can be. This latest period of lockdown has given us the opportunity to refine, to improve and to practice our remote learning offer and we hope that you will agree we have made significant progress in this area since last year. We've now embraced the technology available to us and we're using it to benefit children's learning like never before. Google Meets, videoed and voiceover lessons and demonstrations, quizzes, games and feedback via voice notes have all featured in our provision across the Goldsworth Trust. All staff, including TAs and other support staff, have been on a very steep learning curve and it's a testament to one of our aims of being a whole community of learners that our staff have been so willing to put themselves out of their comfort zones and into the stretch zones to make sure that the learning for the children is of such high quality. Your support, however, is crucial in ensuring that all these things help our children to make progress. And we do acknowledge and thank you for the significant effort and sacrifice that you have made to make this possible. We know it's not easy. We've also seen teamwork within and across the schools at its very best. Despite not being able to physically meet, staff have supported each other to solve problems, to share new ideas and to step in during periods of illness or isolation to support each other pastorally. And I know that our pastoral teams in every school have worked tirelessly to support our families where needed, delivering food parcels, delivering Chromebooks and spending many hours on the phone to offer any support that we can. If you are in need, please do get in touch with your school's pastoral team and they will do their very, very best to support you. We've managed to ensure that every child in our trust who needs one has access to a Chromebook. Many of these have been purchased by our PTAs and we're so grateful to all of you who've worked to raise additional money for our schools so that this is possible. We've benefited from an, addi an additional 83 Chromebooks from the government and the last of these are expected to arrive any day. And we're now looking forward to the future with hope that more children will be able to return to school in March and we eagerly await further government guidance on this. And we promise you that when this does happen, we will endeavour to make the transition back into school as smooth as it can be within any restrictions that will still be in place. So I've just described some of the things that we've achieved as a trust over the last months. There are very, very many smaller things that have made a huge difference to individuals. And I do thank you for when you've let us know that this has been the case for you. I'm very proud of the way that our schools have worked together to respond to this latest period of lockdown in the best way possible. I know we haven't always got everything right and we do make mistakes along the way, such as the process of learning something new. And this is still new for all of us. I do wish you and your families a happy half term with perhaps a little less time spent on computer screens and opportunities for more time outside. Hopefully it will be a period of refreshment and restoration for all of us.